Well, our research team is standing by with a list of top 10 stocks as we begin the day. First up, Protein Egov is on our radar. Nimesh is here to tell us why he's watching that one. Nimesh, morning. Well, morning, Sonia. I'm watching out of a stock largely because there is going to be a large block deal. 5.3% uh, of the equity is going to change hands. 360 managed funds, uh, 361 managed funds are going to sell. Uh, this includes a green shoe as well. Interestingly, the price band has not been indicated. So, not, you know, we need to see how the deal gets executed. If in the block deal, then the stock can can, hap, can you know start in the green. But otherwise, there could be a a, a, a bit of a pressure on the stock. Also, because uh, the 360 managed funds owns close to 23% stake, and now they are selling only 5.5% stake. So the overhang can continue from this particular fund. So I'll go with the red to start with. But the block deal execution could be quite interesting uh, in the protein ego. Okay, thanks a lot, Nimesh, for that. So that's Protein Egov. But let's hop across to Hormuz now. He's tracking Paytm this morning. Hormuz, why are you watching that one? Plenty of news developments, Sonia. And uh, first up, the company shared its shareholding pattern for the March quarter last evening. And positive bit here is that both domestic and foreign funds have increased their stake in the company. And December, uh, com domestic mutual funds now own 6.1% stake in Paytm compared to the 5% that they owned in December. The foreign portfolio investors now own 20.2% as of March compared to the 17.7% that they held in December. So this despite the 40% drop that the Paytm stock saw during the January to March quarter. Now, that's where the positive bit ends because there are a couple of negative developments as well. Paytm's UPI market share has dropped to 9%. This is the lowest in four years, that is as per a money control report. And the transaction value market share is also down to 6.7%. And they also informed the exchanges late last evening that the Paytm Payments Bank CEO, Surinder Chawla, has quit citing personal reasons and to explore better career opportunities. So some bit of positivity on the shareholding bit, but the losing market share can take precedence and the stock may open in the red this morning. All right, uh, Hormuz, thanks very much for that. That's Paytm uh, Payments Bank and, of course, uh, the listed entity in focus there. Uh, now, Sham Metallics uh, is undertaking an expansion. And, by the way, we'll be speaking with a company as well later. Lupin is the other one, which is in, all, uh, which is in focus as well. Vivek has got both those. Uh, Vivek, morning. Well, good morning. That's right. So, Sham Metallics is in focus. So, the company has gone ahead and announced an expansion into the stainless steel flat products. So, the company has gone ahead and established a new stainless steel hot oil coils facility at Odisha. This facility will be 0 0.3 uh, metric tons and will specialize in 200 and 400 series uh, stainless steel hot roll coils. The capital outlay that the company has envisaged is in the range of 650 to 750 crores. And the project is expected to be commissioned by the mid of, uh, cal uh, of fiscal year FI27. Uh, the other stock on the radar is Lupin, an incremental positive coming in there. The company has got an approval and has gone ahead and launched the first generic version of Orekia or doxycycline capsules in USA. This particular capsule is is used to treat inflammatory lesions uh, and this is a uh, skin condition. The estimated sales or the market size for this particular drug is $128 million. Positive news flow for both companies. Expect both the stocks to be in the green today. All right, thanks a lot for that. Vamakshi is also with us to tell us about some more stocks that are in the news. Vamakshi, over to you. Well, absolutely. Let me first start off with Modila Loswal. The stock is on our radar because SEBI has issued an administrative warning. They have raised certain observations with respect to minor retail operation processes. The SEBI has uh, uh, advised the company to avoid the recurrence of the same. And the company, however, says that there is no impact yet on the financials or the operations. So, sentimentally negative news flow for Motila Loswal. No major implications. So, expect the stock to open mildly lower. Pesalo Digital is another counter that we will be focusing on. AUM has grown up by almost 32% to 4,622 crores and this was largely led by the uh, uh, traction that we saw in the disbursements. Disbursements were up nearly 38%. Cool ending loan disbursements uh, also doubled uh, on a year-on-year -year basis and the customer franchise has also seen a very sharp jump. So given that, Pesalo Digital expected to open higher today. Latent View on the other hand is expected to lo uh, open lower and that is because Tarun Suresh, who is the head marketing and demand generation, has now resigned from uh, the post. Thank you very much for that, Vivek. Uh, it's back to him for IRB infrastructure. Vivek. Well, good morning. You know, uh, late last night, the company uh, gave an uh, announcement to the exchanges. So what's actually happened is that uh, the company, which has uh, multiple claims uh, or arbitrations ongoing, uh, you know, in the arbitral tribunal against NHI, in one important case, has given an update to the exchanges. So in this particular case, the company was arguing against NHI and the company was claiming uh, a claim against the NHI. This is in the IRB AV, which is the IRB Ahmedabad Vadodara Super Express Tollway. The company had claimed a compensation 
donation of over 1,000 crore rupees from NHI because they said that there was a competing toll road that had started while this particular project was on. Uh, however, what has actually happened is that, and it appears to be a setback against IRB Infra, that the arbitral tribunal has gone ahead and rejected the claim of the company of close to 1,000 crore rupees. The company does have further legal recourse. Uh, the management will be joining us. We'll probe them more on that. But at least sentimentally, this particular development is a negative as far as IRB is concerned. All right, uh, Vivek. Uh, thanks very much. By the way, IRB is another management we'll have up uh, coming up over the next two hours or so speaking, and we'll uh, bring this up as well. Now, oil prices have slipped from 91 to 89 and a half or, uh, dollars. I mean, is the uh, sort of geopolitical political risk premium coming off a little bit? That's the top of mind question. Manisha is here with more details. Manisha, morning. Thank you for that, Prashant. Well, yes, it's a second straight day when we have the crude oil prices slipping off its uh, recent highs. So we are not trading at a five-month highs anymore. There is ongoing uh, diplomatic talks between Israel and Hamas. And Israel also has uh, suggested that they are reducing forces in Gaza. So that seems to be taking some premium off. Also, the latest API data shows that the U.S. inventories are bigger than expected at 3 million barrels of a buildup. Elevated OPEC spare capacity as they continue to keep production down also is something that the markets are keeping an eye on. Having said that, it is going to be about the U.S. inflation data. Well, that comes in today. And then it is also about various uh, banks and brokerages suggesting that it still are accumulation levels on the lower side for crude. Uh, Morgan Stanley, for one, expects $94 to come in within this quarter. And that is exactly what Citi, Goldman Sachs, etc. also say, that crude doesn't have too much of way on the downside. And every dip, perhaps, is a buying opportunity. All right, thanks a lot, Manisha, for that. Here's a quick recap. Stocks with positive news flow, there's Sham Metallics, Lupin and Pesalo Digital. Stocks with negative news flow, there's IRB Infra, Protein, EGov, Paytm, Motilal Oswal, Latent View, ONGC and Oil India.